Should we have closer ties to the EU? Foreign Secretary and former PM says we should. Lord David Cameron says Britain needs closer ties with the European Union and should work more closely with Brussels on international and defence policy. His comments bring a backlash from some Tory MPs who warn him not to reignite the debate over Brexit. Like it ever went away. Joining me now is political commentator Matthew Stadlin and former Brexit Party MEP Belinda De Lucy to have a little debate about what uh, Lord David Cameron has said. Um, I'm going to come to you first on this one, Belinda. Um, you know, reignited the debate. I feel like I've been talking about Brexit since 2016. What, what do you make of David Cameron's comments? Oh, my gosh. Look, David Cameron failed to convince the British public of his pro-EU arguments seven years ago. He failed. He no, he no longer has any democratic mandate to take us back in through the back door. And unlike dealing with other countries on security and defence packs, when you're dealing with the EU, you give them an inch, they want to centralise everything, they take a mile and they charge their big, clunky tank through the doors of democracy. And the problem the problem with arch remainers being in these high positions is, is by definition, it appears that they're anti-democratic because you cannot be pro-EU and have a love for democracy at the same time. Democracy actually stops the EU from working. So to have him in that position, you know, is slightly worrying. He, he does love the EU. And the other thing is he loves the international stage. One of the first things he mm. did when he got the position was foreign aid. You know, let's unlock mm. billions of dollars. And, and don't I look good on the international stage? And now he's doing it again with his EU friends. There's a big, big rift between millions of Brits like me who love our, the nation state, love democracy and sovereignty and feel rooted in our culture and politicians like Cameron, like Sunak, like Hunt, who see it as more of a spreadsheet, who see it more as a springboard into another international job and a long lifetime on the gravy train. Matthew, um, so uh, Belinda clearly doesn't think our, um, David Cameron is a sensible appointment as for a secretary. What do you make of it? It's an interview, by the way. It's an exclusive interview, I think, in one of the papers today. What do you make of it? I wasn't quite head? sure how to follow that, <laughs> Belinda. No, listen, Car I don't think Cameron's an arch remainer. This is a, a chap who tried to win serious concessions, he would argue anyway, from the European Union. He's someone who gave us the right to have a vote on the future mm. of our participation inside the European Union. It is for the birds, as someone was talking to us, I think, in the green room, weren't they? <laughs> it is it's a good phrase. It's for the birds, the idea that this Conservative government, or indeed any Conservative government, I think, in the coming years, if they're, if they're lucky enough to get another go at it after 13 years, that they're going to take us back inside the EU and reverse Brexit. Of course, that's not going to happen. And I would go further. I don't think there's any real possibility that a Keir Starmer-led Labour Party is taking us back into the EU. There are two things here. One is I think it's grown-up politics from Cameron, because he's saying we should be friends with our European mm -hmm. neighbours mm -hmm. on, on defence and international policy. Yeah. Who can seriously disagree with that? If you want to stop the boats, one way of doing that is to be getting on better with our European neighbours. So that's one thing. Is it, is it well, we, we've, how many millions have we, we given to France? Not that I mean, much. Not, 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 not a huge amount. How much friend do they need us to be? For Denada, Look, for zero. We need, we need to get on... It's not just about money. We need to get on well. Is this a, a big breach in trust, OK, if, if you leave that block after so many decades? So rebuilding strong relationships on an individual level and a governmental level is important if we want to solve the problems of the present and the future. The more narrow party political question, though, is, is this a sensible comment from David Cameron when he know Let me just start... When he knows the sensitivity of Tory MPs and some Tory members of him coming back into Cabinet, and the answer to that is no. It's not good party politics, and it will really alienate not just some of his MPs, but no doubt some so, of the voters as well. So why... I mean, he actually called the bloc, the EU bloc, a friend, neighbour and partner. Why, why is he saying that? I mean, you know, David Cameron is many things, but I don't think he's a stupid man. So why has he chosen to say that? Because I think he wants to restore his reputation. I think he committed the cardinal sin in EU world by giving people, the British public, the choice. The EU don't like giving their citizens the choice and uh, or asking for consent uh, on their ever-evolving project. David C Cameron gave us the choice. I thank him for that forever. But his reputation has been damaged, and I think he wants to repair it on the stage, on the international stage, and this is one way of doing it. But I would say this, you know, the very reason we were able to respond so quickly to the Russian invasion mm. of Ukraine was because we acted on our own, nimbly, quickly, swiftly, without having to ask 27 other 
other countries how they felt about the situation, which is what happens when you get dragged closer to the EU. And there's nothing wrong with being neighbours or friendly. We can, we can do that to the EU. It's the partnership and the cost that means to the British people. I don't, think, I I don't think there's anything that we... As far as I know, I'll be corrected if I'm wrong, anything that we did in our admirable help for Ukraine that we couldn't have done had we still been part of the European Union. But we're revisiting old politics. I think what's really interesting now is that the Tory party, you might say the same to an extent to the Labour party, but the Tory party is still split. And Cameron gave us a referendum partly to shush down <laughs> some of his backbenchers. And now it comes again. So politically, I'm not saying this isn't toxic. I think it is. So it's very, it, it is, in, it's even more divisive, isn't it? I mean, this this debate. I mean, let, let's remember that. I mean, you know, David Cameron was prime minister. He did not have to have a referendum. No, I thought, I'm very grateful to that. That's why I, I think he got into so much trouble because, of course, you're not really allowed to ask the people of Europe whether they want to, to be in the EU or not. And he was brave and he did that. But instead of embracing it and staying on as prime minister and saying I back the democratic mandate, he he ran away. Um, and I don't think that was a, an a, a exceptional look either. And I just worry that his heart isn't in putting British interests first. It's um, international applause. And, and uh, the, the, if we are to believe what we hear from sources within Parliament, uh, Rishi Sunak has been relying increasingly heavily on David Cameron. Rishi Sunak doesn't know whether he's coming or going in terms of his identity and the identity of his Conservative government. Because one minute he's got Suella Braverman there, who in my view represents a quite an extreme position. There are lots of people who support her, but I think it's extreme and inflammatory and, and dangerous at times like this. And then he gets rid of her. I think it was the right decision. I don't think he should have given the job in, this, in the first place. And he brings in David Cameron. You couldn't have two more polarising characters within the Tory movement. So he is confused, he's desperate, and I don't think there's anyone watching today who thinks that the Tory party are going to win the next election. <laughs> I know, his popularity <laughs> seems to be dropping ever since he... It's, yeah, that is in. true.